Leo, thanks for visiting. I am back, as you can see. Um, this is your reading for May 6th to May the 12th. And um, if you like this reading, as I always ask you, um, please like or subscribe if you'd like to, or leave a comment if you'd like to. Um, that's totally up to you, I don't mind. I'm happy to have you listening to this, and I'm really happy to have you back listening to me again. Um, and I'm happy to be back. So, um, I'm not going to say any more, I'm just going to start your reading right now for Leo. So the first card you have your past is um, the Empress. I love this beautiful woman. She's so caring and kind and just so relaxed and so happy. Um, yeah, this is about caring. It is about caring, but um, I'm getting a few mixed feelings in this card, actually. I think there might be someone who... Um, there's someone who you did really care about at one time, and I think you still do care about them. I'm getting this feeling that you used to care for them, you still do, and you kind of feel as if maybe you shouldn't still care for them. That's the thing I'm getting around this. Now, I think this is someone who you did a lot for. I think you did a lot practically for this person. I think you did a lot emotionally for them as well. Um, again, they're not around you now, I think, but... Um, yeah, you still have feelings for them. That's what I'm getting. You still think about them a lot, all the time. Um, I think you're naturally a very caring person. And I think when you grow cl close to someone, you want to care for them. You know, it takes you, it probably takes you a long time to get close to someone. But I think when you do, then you give your all to them. You do a lot for them. You show people um, that you care for them by your actions. And for me, that's, that's the only way you can tell whether someone really cares for you is by their actions. So that's what you do. You're very genuine in that way. You show people you care for them by your actions. I think this could be an ex, um, but there was a lot of ambiguity around this as well. Maybe there was some kind of backwards and forwards going on between you at one time. Um, that's why I'm getting this dithering around in this. Um, and I think, you know, when you separated from this person, I think you really picked yourself up, you picked your life up, and, you know, you've really, really taken care of yourself, like this empress taking care of herself. So that's what you did. You really took care of yourself. You're doing a lot better than you are, definitely. Again, there's still a part of you that misses them. There's still a part of you that thinks of them. That's what I'm getting. And, uh, you know, you're doing well. It's not like you're sitting around crying or anything like that. Um, you know, it's like you're going about your day, you're doing whatever you need to do, everything's fine, and then out of nowhere you'll get this feeling and you'll be thinking, oh, I still miss them. Why do I still miss them? And then, you you know, it's like this little twinge that suddenly comes in. You get this little feeling about them. And um, this is what I feel that I have to tell you about this. They, they cared for you as well. They really did. If this is all resonating with you, um, this is what I have to tell you. This is this is what I'm seeing, um, because I'm, I'm getting this feeling that maybe you're wondering if they ever did love you, if they ever did care about you. Um, if you are wondering that, um, I'm seeing that they did. They actually really, really loved you, um, and I think they're still thinking about you now. That's what I'm getting. That's what I'm getting. Um, there was some awkwardness around this. There was something that they weren't able to express to you. Um, they weren't an angel. They definitely were not. Um, but there was a block. They felt that they couldn't quite reach you. They couldn't quite get to you. It was something like that. There was something they, they, they felt they weren't quite up to you. Or they weren't quite ready to, they weren't able to um, communicate with you in some way because they felt that you were kind of, I mean, not above them, not in that way, but you were kind of achieving things that they felt a little bit in awe about, if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense to you. But yeah, they loved you and they cared about you and I think they still do have a lot of love and care for you. That's what I'm seeing. Um, so the next card you have your past is the sun. Um, so yeah, this is a fantastic card, obviously. Um, so I'm just trying to tell you what I'm seeing here. It's it's This might sound a bit strange, but um, yeah, this is what I'm getting. There was something you were celebrating. This is something that you were really, really, really good at. You achieved something. And it was a big achievement for you because I think there was a great big struggle before you achieved this thing. And then you just came and achieved it. Um, and 
you know, it was very important to you. And I keep on seeing this struggle and then a breakthrough, a struggle and then a breakthrough. Um, I keep on seeing that because this, um, you know, there's a wall behind this child on the horse. So um, this child's broken through the wall. Um, and I'm also seeing that you should feel very, very proud of whatever this is. This is something you should be very proud of. And you shouldn't let anyone take that away from you. I keep on seeing that I need to give you that message as well. Now, when you achieve this, you are so happy, you're so relieved that you got through this struggle. It was like, you know, I think it felt a bit like to you that the sun was shining on you at that moment. And the sun was facing you, a bit like these sunflowers are facing you. I think this axe was around you at this time when you achieved this. And I think they might have struggled to celebrate with you. I keep on getting this feeling that maybe they didn't feel quite good enough. That's what I was getting um, in the Empress card. It's something a bit like that. It's like you were, you might have gotten that from them. They felt a little bit like they weren't quite good enough. And so they weren't giving you that support. And then that in turn made you feel a little bit unsupported. So there was this division. And you know I think you felt as if they weren't saying what they should have been saying at the time. And this is a really happy card, obviously. There's a lot of happiness around this, this achievement. But also there are a lot of mixed emotions and unsaid feelings around this as well because of the way this person was feeling about you and your achievements. That's what I'm picking up there. I hope that makes sense to you. Excuse me, I've got a croaky voice. <coughs> sorry about that. <coughs> I'm sorry. So, yeah, the last card you have for your past is the Ace of Pentacles. This is a fantastic card. Um, so again, this is about this achievement that you had, I think. Um, and I think what happened was you had this achievement and then I think there was this separation from this person, maybe not long after that. It was some time after that, but maybe it was shortly after that. And I think you concentrating on this achievement helped you to move on in some way. You were kind of focusing on that. And this is about your career. So this was about career progression. I'm also seeing some studying around this, so there might have been a combination of those two things. And yeah, this really helped you to set your mind on your future. Um, and again, this is the same as what I was seeing in the Empress card, that you're able to pick yourself up, really make the most of the opportunities you had. And But the feeling I'm getting is, with this axe or whoever this is, as you rose higher, they might have felt, or they might have found it more and more difficult to cope with, maybe. I'm not sure why that is, because they did have very, very, very strong feelings for you. And I keep on getting that they might have felt a bit inadequate, it might have been that. Um, and I think they tried to hide this. But yeah, they had a lot of problems with you achieving things, and I don't think they were jealous, I don't think it was that. But I think it made them feel a bit, oh, that means I'm really nothing. What am I doing? How do I look next to them? That's the kind of feeling I'm getting around this. Um, because this this path on this card, this golden path, it's a very narrow path. And they might have thought, oh, there's only room for one on that path. I'm not good enough. I don't deserve to be on this path with this person. That's just the kind of thing I'm getting around that. Um, so yeah, the first card you have your present is the Two of Pentacles. So yeah, I keep on seeing the same situation. I know this is specific, but I have to keep on saying it if that's what I keep on seeing. Um, now this person in the Empress card, this ex, they do still think about you. I'm getting that quite clearly. But their mind is quite confused. It's going backwards and forwards. And I think it might actually be going um, backwards and forwards between thinking about you and thinking about someone else. That's what I'm seeing. I don't know if they're actually in a relationship with someone else. If they are, um, I don't think they're seeing this as a long-term relationship. They're not taking this very, very seriously. That doesn't mean that it's nothing. That doesn't mean that, um, you know, that doesn't mean that you should kind of take action on this. I would leave well alone if I were you. I don't think you're the sort of person that would butt in on any relationship, whether it's serious or not. Um, but. What I'm getting is this person swinging backwards and forwards in their mind. 
they're thinking, do I want them? Do I want you? I'm with them, but I miss you. That's what they're doing, backwards and forwards. But they're very, very, very mixed up. There's also something tying them to this person. I don't know what it is, but they don't take it as seriously as the person who they're with is taking it. That's just what I'm seeing. Now, again, the other thing I'm seeing in this card is they're afraid of a clash. So they're afraid that if they leave this person, if they come to you, there'll be a great big clash. Um, so, you know, if they turn around and talk to you, they're afraid you're going to have some big argument or you're going to be really unhappy with them. Um, because if you look at this card, there are two, you know, there are these big waves. There are these big, huge waves behind the man on this card. And there are two ships and it looks as if they're about to crash. But this man has his back to them. So he's trying to avoid an argument. He's avoiding a big clash. So that's what this person's doing. And because I keep on seeing you having these feelings, even though they're very, very confusing, again, I just feel as if I have to say, now would not be a good time to try and contact them or connect with them, reconcile or anything like that. And it wouldn't be a good time for them to connect with you either, even though they're thinking about it. And I can see that you're still thinking about them. Now is not a good time because this, first of all, they have some someone around them, I think. Um, they're all over the place, their heart's all over the place, they don't know what they're doing. Um, even though they're not taking this seriously, they're still in it. Um, and it's just a great big mess, really, I think. It's a huge mess. There's so many things you'd both have to work through anyway. I think even if they were broken up from whoever this is and you did decide to connect again, there'd still be a lot to work through. That's what I'm seeing. Now, I'm not saying you'll never get together with them. I'm just saying right now is the absolute worst time <laughs> because they're just all over the place. They're with someone else. It's all a big mess. So I would leave well alone right now. That's what I'm seeing in that card if this is all resonating with you. So the next card you have your present is the Ten of Wands. Yeah. They're really confused. Uh, they've got so much on their mind. They can't find their own direction. You can find your direction and they can't. That was another problem I'm seeing um, when they could see your achievements and they were looking at you and saying, they know where they're going in their life. I don't. I'm all kind of, I don't know what I am. But you didn't mind about that. You didn't mind. I mean, everyone finds their direction at different times in their life. That's okay. But it was them that was having this problem with this. That's what I keep on seeing. But right now they're even worse. They're more confused. The other thing I'm seeing in this card is um, someone might have, someone close to you might have some kind of physical illness. Um, and I think, <coughs> excuse me, and I think you're helping them in some way, whether that's practical or whether that's um, emotional help. <coughs> excuse me, I'm sorry about that. Um, and I, you know, again, you're a very nurturing, caring person. I've seen that in the Empress card. And um, you're happy to help people. I think you are helping someone practically or physically, um, doing practical things. I'm seeing that there are some other people who could step in and help. Um, so I think this is telling me that you need to speak up. Um, I think you need to ask for some other people to help you. Um, I think you might have to ask them a few times. Um, I am seeing that other people, I'm seeing that you're stuck with a situation, you're working hard at it, and other people who could be helping you should be helping you, and you need to step up and ask them. I hope that makes sense. That's what I'm seeing in that card. So yeah, the last card you have for your present is the Ace of Swords. So yeah, so I'm getting this again. Um, and I think this goes back a long way, actually. Maybe this is family who should be helping you. I'm not sure, but this goes back a long way in your life. And it also goes back to the situation with this ax. Um, I think for a long time you've had people around you, you still do clearly, um, people who feel that you can handle everything by yourself. Now, you know what you're doing. You can handle everything by yourself. You've got things together, but maybe other people feel as if if they stepped in or if they tried to help, 
they be in the way or useless or not as good as you or whatever in some way. I'm not making excuses for people, I'm just telling you how, what I'm seeing here, that what they might be feeling around you. Um, now, they wouldn't be useless, you'd welcome their help, but they need to hear this from you. You need to speak up, you need to let people know that you're not this magical person who can do everything, handle everything. Um, because I think you're giving off this vibe and I think you always have given off this vibe. I keep on seeing that. I'm not blaming you either, I'm just saying that that's kind of the thing I'm getting here, that's what I'm seeing. Um, and the Ace of Swords can be about clarity. So you need to be clear with people, you need to let them know that you can't do everything. So yeah, you need to make that very clear that you'd welcome their input and you'd be happy to accept them. Even if what they do isn't perfect, you don't mind. You'll just be happy to accept the help and you need people's help at this time. That's what I'm seeing. So stand up and ask for it. Um, right, so for the future, the first card you have um, is death. Okay, so there's a lot in this card that I'm seeing. Um, and I don't know if, I, okay, I will, I have to say this. I, I kind of don't want to make people I don't want to give people false hope, but I, I'm not doing that. I'm just going to tell you what I'm seeing. Sorry, I'm really struggling with this. Um, okay, I'll tell you what's standing out to me. There's a motorbike. I'm going to ignore it. Um, okay, so what's standing out to me in this card is this white rose on this flag. It's right at the top of this card. Now, yeah, I have to say this. This is what's standing out to me. The thing is, I don't want to give anyone any false hope or whatever, but yeah, I'll tell you. A white rose can mean a lot of different things. It can mean purity, it can mean true love. Now, this rose to me um, is especially pure because it's a wild rose. It only has five petals. So to me, wild roses are the purest rose. They're the most honest rose of all roses. They haven't been cultured to look a certain way. All the other roses that you see that have more than five petals have been cultured or bred or whatever the word is to make them look like that. That's the basic rose we see today. But the original rose is the wild rose. It hasn't been messed with. It flows, it you know grows freely everywhere. It's wild, it's free, it's honest and it's pure. That's how I see that. So yet yeah, it's, it's natural and unaffected. So I think this person still has love for you. This is pure love that they have for you. Beneath all the confusion, all the mess, everything else that they're in, their mind is in a total mess. But beneath all of that, deep down, they have pure love for you. That's what I'm seeing. Whoever this is resonating with, if you're sitting this and listening to this, and this is resonating with you, this person loves you. That's what I'm seeing. So that's what I'm saying. I'm just telling you what I'm seeing. So if what I've been saying about this person resonates, um, this is the death card. So this is about huge upheavals, huge change, and these huge changes lead to the best thing for you. So I think this death card is about the separation that you had. You both had to have this separation to get by yourself and to work through things to come back together again eventually. That is what I'm seeing. They're going through a great big enormous mess right now. You're a lot further along than they are. Um, but that's okay, everyone goes at their own pace. So you are going to meet up again with this person I think sometime in the future. Not now because I've seen very clearly this is the wrong time. Um, I don't want you to sit around waiting for someone. That's what I don't want you to do either. That's why I was hesitating on saying this. Um, get on with your life. You can't grow if you're sitting around waiting. So get on with your life, do things, do this work thing you're doing, um, this great achievement you've had, keep on working on that. Keep on you know, moving forward, fill your life with things. You're not with this person right now, they're with someone else I think so. You know, if you want to date people, if you want to see people, if you want to do whatever you want, you go do that. Don't sit around waiting. If you sit around doing that, you will not grow. 
you've already grown a lot, but you've got some more to do. They have a lot of growth to do. But this is what this death card was for. This is what this separation was for. So if what I'm seeing is correct, and you get back together in the, again in the future, um, it's going to be the perfect time for you. That's what I'm seeing. So the next card you have for your future is the Four of Pentacles. Okay, so I'm seeing a few messages in this. Again, I'm seeing this is reminding you not to sit and wait for them. Don't hold on to old things and people like this man's holding on to these coins. Just let go of them and they'll come back at the perfect time, at the right time. Um, also, I think you have a lot going on. You have a lot of things, again, that you want to achieve. Concentrate on those things. I think you might have a few financial problems around you. Um, and I think you do have some financial rewards coming to you to kind of ease those up for you. Um, and I think, I think you have been waiting for something to come in, some money to come in. It's been delayed, I think. This is going to come in for you. This is going to ease things up for you. I, I am getting that things are a bit tight for you right now financially. Things feel very uncomfortable, like the way this poor man is, you know, he looks very, very uncomfortable to me. Um, this is going to really help you when this comes in. So there is going to be some ease from that. That's what I'm seeing. So focus on that as well. Focus on, you know, the best thing that you can do with this um, amount that comes in. Use it to help yourself. Use it so that you're not going to be in this situation again in the future. That's what I'm seeing now. Um, so the last card you have for your future is the Queen of Pentacles. Beautiful. So this is following on from the Four of Pentacles. More money here. The same money issue. So when this comes in, this is how you're going to be feeling. A lot more relaxed around money when this comes in. Look at the difference between the Four of Pentacles and this Queen of Pentacles. He's all squashed, tight, um, uncomfortable, stressed, all about money, hanging on to everything. And then when this comes in, you'll feel more like the Queen of Pentacles. Relaxed, sitting there in your garden, you know, happy. And what you're going to do, I see, is you're going to use that money for your benefit to ease up your future. Um, you know, she's nurturing that coin like it's a child. She's taking care of it. So you're going to take care of your money so that in the future, you're going to be set up a lot better than you are now. You might save for something that helps you. You might invest. You might do something like that. You might buy some equipment that helps you with a business. It might be that. Something that's going to make you more money and help to set you up. That's what I'm seeing there. So this is a very, very, very interesting reading. You do have a very hopeful, interesting time in your future. Um, again, I don't mean to give you false hope, so please don't sit around waiting for this person, but I am getting very, very strongly. They do have a lot of love for you, and I am seeing them coming back at the right time when, you know, when the right time is there for both of you. That's what I'm seeing now. So, Leo, I hope this resonated with you, but um, as you know, general readings can't always resonate with every single person. But again, if you like this reading, um, please like or subscribe, leave a comment if you would like to, only if you'd like to, I don't mind. And thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it.